with this wonderful Transylvanian folk song, we will open the largest women's convocation which was ever held in Transylvania. The first international convocation of Unitarian, Unitarian Universalist, and other religious women was organized in 2009 in Houston, Texas, with more than 600 women participating. Thirteen of these women were from Transylvania, and there was somebody there who was already dreaming that a second convocation should be organized in Transylvania, the birthplace of Unitarianism. On the 4th of October, 2012, at the opening ceremony of that second convocation, the goals of the meeting were outlined. These were to increase the awareness of women's important roles within the family, their communities, and society as a whole, to emphasize the importance of international sisterhood, and the value of person-to-person -person contact in this overly mechanical and virtual world. And finally, to recognize that active women who are working to realize their dreams can truly make the world a better place. The central theme of the conference was keeping your balance in a changing world. Olyan az életünk, mint a biciklizés. Folyton pedálozni kell, hogy tarthassuk az egyensúlyt. Ezzel a tényel minden nap szembesülünk. Ezért is adtuk ezt a címet a második világ találkozónknak. Egyensúly keresés változó világunkban. Participants could choose different breakout groups, such as faith and rights and healing, art and self-liberation, dance meditation, traditional healing, and coping strategies for balancing work and family. We were searching for the answers to what sort of possibilities exist in the 21st century to teach peace and to strengthen partnerships across borders. In 2009, using methodologies developed by Dr. Richard Ford, the Global Sisters groups prioritized a short list of issues to be addressed. They were education, health care and reproductive rights, preventing violence against women and children, economic opportunity, and political expression. In 2012, the participants decided that the issues to be undertaken by those gathered were time management and the balance between family and work, empowerment and leadership roles, the next generation, and lost values. The Global Sisters groups created action plans for each of these. On the last full day of the convocation, the number of participants grew to more than 600. The assembly was greeted by both the Hungarian Unitarian Bishop, Balant Ben Sedi Ferenc. I hope that this gathering will strengthen your vision and your determination to work for it. And the president of the Unitarian Universalist Association, Peter Morales. Do not forget that what you are doing here is terribly important, not only for yourselves, but for our children and for our grandchildren. What do you do to help the crops grow? What do you do to heal a spiritual rift in your community? We in the USA are very focused on spreadsheets and timelines, while in Transylvania, they like to follow their bliss. I believe in the power of definition. I believe in the power to change. It starts small, not taking giant steps, but knowing that you can change small things that will make your community better. I think what we have today has huge potential and only the sky is the limit. As the participants said their goodbyes and headed home, it was clear that the goals of this second convocation were reached. A great awakening had taken place. Women and men from 12 different countries left Marashvashahe empowered and energized with dreams for their own communities and plans for the next convocation. All are looking forward to the continuation of this journey. Let's meet again in 2015.